Welcome back to the channel. This video is on geology and looking at the father of modern geology, James Hutton, and a trip to Scotland where he made an amazing discovery at a coastal area on the east coast of Scotland near Edinburgh and looking at where this discovery came from, his ideas on geology and how it shaped our modern understanding of this amazing subject. This is the Earth Science Classroom. In the world of both geology and stratigraphy, James Hutton is responsible for creating and forming the principles and laws of both unconformity and uniformitarianism. James Hutton was born in 1726 in Edinburgh, Scotland, in Europe, and just like with Nicholas Steno, he was a revolutionary thinker and geologist in terms of pushing the science of geology, the brand new science of geology, forward and into the modern world of science and looking at rocks and geology and strata embedding in a far more scientific and critical viewpoint than just previously acknowledged by people before Hutton and before Steno. And these people were thinking about more religious-based ideas of the Earth being 6,000 years old and the Earth's surface being relatively new and basically formed through catastrophes and creation rather than a longer, drawn-out process of geology and science. So James Hutton is a Scottish scientist, but he started out as a farmer and he spent a lot of time on his farm and around nature and around the coastline and he had ample time to analyze and observe the natural surroundings, the relief, the topography, the geology, the rock layers and strata. And year after year, he started to formulate ideas and theories on the formation and the mechanisms that formed the landscape and wasn't convinced by the current ideas of the earth being 6,000 years old. So in 1785, after years of research, he published his theory on the age of the earth and the rock formation and how these natural processes occurred over a very long time. And this occurred at Sicker Point in the eastern coastline, just east of Edinburgh in Scotland, where there was an angular unconformity, which basically allowed Hutton to piece together the required information scientifically to push and create this theory. And the idea was that the processes that happen in the past are the same that happen in the present. So what we see in the present and how they form in the present is exactly the same as how they formed in the past. The past could be 10 years or a million years or a billion years. In the past, the process was the same. And this theory was called uniformitarianism, which was key to understand and applying this to all of geology in all landscapes. And Sicker Point was the origin of this theory. And he saw this gray, metamorphic, tilted rock strata. And then above it and around it was this red, horizontally laid down sedimentary rock. And this was the tipping point for Hutton in his theories that he was convinced that the Earth was not 6,000 years old, but far older, even hard to contemplate the age of the Earth at that time in Earth's history in 1785. So Hutton had the idea of what's called deep time, this long-term, slow process of forming rocks over millions and hundreds of millions of years. And this is a far greater and more holistic idea than had ever been put forward before. And this idea of unconformities, this break in the timeline, the relative age of rocks, where something's happened, a hiatus, a interval or time between the rock layers. And this was revolutionary. Now, this picture taken over coastlines, not sick of point in Edinburgh. However, there are many examples around coastlines, around Europe and North America, and the world which show that the different rock layers are formed with different angles and unconformities and rock layers and strata that show the different types of rocks formed in different ways and the fact that the angular part of the rocks means that something's happened 
to the rocks after they were laid down horizontally, which works off Steno's principles back in the 1600s, which Hutton knew about and then just used and pushed on the idea of both unconformities and the idea that the past is the same as the present, which is uniformitarianism. And this is why he was heralded as the father of modern geology. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.